So a full approach to um, liver injuries, let me say a patient actually comes to the hospital and you have taken the history, the physical examination, you have done some um, all those imaging tests, all right, and you have confirmed that they have a liver injury. Okay, so how can you be able to build your knowledge on liver injury so that at that time you know what to do? All right, so liver injuries, liver injuries, liver injuries. We'll be talking about this liver injury based on different headings, all right? One of the headings is the causes, one is the types, one is the symptoms, the patient's complaint, one is the diagnosis, all right? Then one is the possible treatment for this condition, all right? The complications, if left untreated, all right? So we are saying these liver injuries, Liver injuries can be caused by various factors. All right, can be caused by various factors. Um, one of these factors include what? Trauma. And this trauma could be blunt. Like, let me say, it's not penetrating. Do you understand? It's just an injury. You can just feel something is swelling up, right? But there's no wound to it. All right, so it could be blunt or penetrating. It could be some infections, it could be hepatitis, it could be abscesses, right? Um, it could be due to some medications. You know that what? The liver is a site for first pass effect, right? Most drugs get broken down there. So if the drug is too powerful or if you have been abusing the drug for a very long time or taking the drug for a very long time, then it can affect the liver, right? It could be some toxins like mushrooms, chemicals, and the rest, all right? It could, it could be cancer. Like, let me say cancer from the liver directly, which, which, which is now primary, okay? Or you could say that cancer came from another place to the liver. So that means what? Well, it metastasized to the liver, all right? It could be some vascular conditions like Bud-Chari syndrome, all right? Then types of liver injuries. Um, types. Uh, there could be there could be a liver injury just because there's accumulation of what blood in the liver. All right. There could be a liver injury because there's lacerations. That's a tear in the parenchyma. There could be a liver injury because there's a bruising of the liver tissue. There could be a liver injury because there's lack of blood supply to the tissue. Okay. There could, there could also be liver injury because there's what cell death, all right? And this cell death is due to what toxins or injury, all right? The symptoms. If a patient has a liver injury, what are the possible complete complaints that you have? You complain about what? abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, fatigue, jaundice. Then if you do a liver test for them, you have abnormal results, okay? So that confirms that there's liver injury. Then diagnosis. If you want to do some tests to confirm that this liver injury actually is there, all right? Tests that you could do include what? Ultrasound, ultrasound, CT scan, MRI scan, liver function test, blood test, then liver biopsy, all right? In some cases, you need to now, if you are not really, really sure, you need to now take some tissues from the liver and send it to the lab, okay, for histology, right? So that you can be able to now know exactly what is the cause, right? So apart from liver injuries, this is another thing we study. This one, this one is it's not an injury, okay? Uh, it's like a medical problem, all right? Like medicine. You know, the liver injury is more of like a surgery problem, right? But this one now, uh, like, there's the position of fat in the liver, all right? But I think this one, I will just, we we'll discuss it another day. I just brought it here so that you guys do not confuse liver injuries to these things. Then treatment. How can you be able to treat a patient that has a liver injury? So positive care. 
could include fluid management, pain control, and monitoring. Just monitoring the patient, <laughs> controlling the pain that they're feeling, resuscitating them in case they are losing fluid. Medications. This one you are using antibiotics. That's if you suspect that there is an infection or there will be an infection. All right. So you treat. Then antiviral medications for hepatitis, anti cancer medications for liver cancer. All right. Then interventional procedures that's like uh, surgeries, possible surgery options could include what? Angiography and embolization, drainage of abscesses or hematomas, right? The surgeries that could be done include liver resection, liver transplantation, the complications. Liver injuries could lead to liver failure, could lead to infections, could lead to bleeding, could lead to what? Cancer progression could lead to death. Okay? So all these are the possible things we could see under liver injury. Okay, so liver injury, causes, types, symptoms, diagnosis, and down the line.